Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, October the 23rd, 2023 is the year, the episode 4174. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Distress. Stay tuned. Distress. Do you ever experience distress? Do you ever experience anxiety or fear? Now, let me tell you something. The YouVersion Bible app is an incredible app, and they have so many thousands of Bible plans. And I just decided a couple weeks ago to just search for Bible plans using the word anxiety. And boy, there were so many things. I've already completed one and I'm in the middle of another one right now. The one I'm reading right now is called Trust God with Your Future. So if you go to the Version Bible app, search for that. And it's just an incredible thing. One of the plans that I did, I uh, went through the book of, of Colossians and we all experience distress, right? Psalm 120, verse 1. Listen to what the psalmist David said. In my distress, I cried to the Lord, and he heard me. We usually remember to cry out to God when the pressure is on, but we do realize that he is available all the time, right? I mean, only a fool doesn't seek God when he's in trouble, but wisdom teaches us to remember to seek him in the good times as well. Seeking God through daily quiet times has been the practice of believers down through the centuries, yielding a closer relationship with him. And as Pastor Alan Redpath used to say, a victorious Christian living. Why is it so helpful to seek God? In Second Chronicles, we find what happens in someone's life when they don't seek him. King Rehoboam did evil because he did not set his heart to seek the Lord. Seeking the Lord keeps us from doing evil. There's a humorous story from 100 years ago that illustrates this truth. One evening in the early 1900s, a British pastor was visiting the United States and wanted to make a telephone call. He entered the phone booth in front of his hotel, but found it diff- different than his own country. It was beginning to get dark, and he was having difficulty finding the number in the in the directory, you know, the yellow pages. He noticed that there was a light in the ceiling, but he didn't know how to turn it on. As he tried again to find the number in the fading twilight, a passerby noted his plight and said, Sir, if you want to turn the light on, you have to shut the door. <laughs> To the pastor's amazement and satisfaction, when he closed the door, the booth was filled with light. Amazingly, he only had to close the door and block off the busy noise of the world to be able to see and hear. So let me encourage you today. If you're experiencing some distress, cry out to the Lord and he will hear you. Father, thank you so much for the comfort of your word. Help us, Lord, to call out to you today, not just in the morning, but in, not just in the evening when we go to bed, but all during the day, Lord, to see opportunities to call out to you, not only for our own needs, but for the needs of others. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Monday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.